Making a great cup of camp coffee is something that I've probably spent too much time thinking about. But that's because in the outdoors, having luxuries that weigh next to nothing, such as the knowledge and a few tools to make a cup of backwoods coffee better than your favorite barista, can give you a level of comfort that even heavy luxury items can't provide. So to me, leveling up your coffee game is a no-brainer, and that's exactly what I'm hoping to help you do today. Over the last few years, I've been trying to find the absolute lightest and most convenient way to make the best cup of coffee possible. I don't want to carry around a bunch of gear or spend time trying to do something that has a lot of steps. I keep coming back to the same two ways of making coffee simply because they're convenient, cheap, light, and make great coffee. Don't get too caught up on choosing a brewing method though, as I'll explain later. Great tasting coffee has a lot less to do with the equipment and more to do with everything else. One of my absolute favorite ways to make coffee is a French press. Normally French presses are bulky, however Jetboil, as well as some other brands, make a French press that goes right into your pot and weighs very little. If you already use a Jetboil, Snowpeak, or other compatible system, I would just get the attachment and turn it into a French press. For a number of reasons, sometimes I want to use a different pot instead of my Jetboil. Additionally, this method requires bringing a second container to pour your coffee into after you make it. If any of these things are a deal breaker, you may want to consider the DIY coffee tea bag thingy. These are super easy to make and are by far the most convenient and lightweight way to make coffee on the trail, next to instant coffee. But this video is about making good coffee. To make these, simply scoop some coffee into a cup style filter. Use three to four tablespoons per cup of water. Fold the sides in, roll the top down, and staple it shut with some thread underneath. Then, just tie up the thread. With this method, the flavor isn't as good as with the French press. However, it can still make a really good cup of coffee if done right. Also, it's basically free, it's super lightweight, and it's more convenient than other methods because you don't have to measure coffee on the trail and there's no cleanup. Now we're getting to the important stuff, how to actually make coffee on the trail that doesn't taste like dirty bean water. One of the biggest secrets here is understanding that there's no replacement for good quality beans. This could be a topic of its very own. Also, freshly ground beans taste better because they're exposed to oxygen for less time. I typically grind my coffee and double ziplock it right before I head out. With a French press, you want to use a grind size slightly larger than what you're used to seeing. Aim for something that looks like this. If you grind your coffee too fine, some particles will get through the screen, and your coffee will be bitter. If your grind is too coarse on the other hand, your coffee will taste too acidic or sour. For the French press, start by boiling your water and turning off your stove. Then, add 2-3 to three tablespoons of coffee per cup of water. After your coffee has been sitting for 3 minutes or so, give it a stir to break up the crust on the surface so that all of the pieces can sink. Let it sit for an additional five minutes. This extra time allows all of the pieces that would normally pass through the filter to settle to the bottom. Push down the filter slowly and stop before you hit the bottom so that you don't agitate the coffee. Now just pour it out. For the coffee bag things, which I need a better name for, boil the water, turn off the stove, and throw the pre-portioned bag into your pot. Normal pre-ground coffee size works really well, but it doesn't hurt to go a little bit finer, especially if you like stronger coffee. Now just occasionally stir it for the next 4-10 to 10 minutes, or until you think it tastes good. I hope that this video helped you level up your coffee game. If you enjoyed it, check out my channel and subscribe for weekly content.